Hello, so in this video I'm going to share some more places that you can get to in Aberdeenshire by bus. I did a part one of this a few months ago with a seven day itinerary of different places. Before we get started, I just quickly want to talk about my new ebook about travel in Aberdeenshire by bus, which you can find on my website. I'll just leave the link uh, down below in the description box. It has more than 50 destinations, uh, the bus numbers and the bus stops, as well as how to get there from the bus stop. And of course, photos and uh, information about the different places. I think a lot of people, including myself a few years ago, thought that it was just impossible to travel around uh, Aberdeenshire without a car. Um, but I've done it now um, a lot and you can get to hiking places, different um, hills and mountains, um, to the Cambridge National Park. You can get to different villages and castles and museums and so many different places, distilleries. So I really hope this uh, book is going to be helpful for you. Uh, it's something that I wish I had a few years ago when I first came to Aberdeen and I was a first year student. Um, but yeah, anyway, I really hope you enjoy this video. just got off the bus and I'm walking now. It's going to take me about 45 minutes, I think, according to the map, to walk to the start of, well, to the nature reserve anyway. So, um, it's, but it's really beautiful. So I may have gone the wrong way, but I only walked about 10 minutes up and then I realized, um, I don't know what, why I turned right, I should have turned left. But anyway, I'm on the right track now. So uh, hopefully I'll get there soon. So I always make sure I have layers when I go on day trips in Scotland uh, but today it's just so hot so I have to take off like my jacket and everything and I think I have to also take off like all my other <laughs> layers. I thought it was going to be cold um, in the Cairns today, I don't know because the past few days it's been cold in Aberdeen but it's actually really hot and the sun came out and it's really nice. I'll just show you. Um, so I'm in Glentanar now. Um, I'm just trying to get to the visitor centre and also just to see kind of like what uh, walk I will do. So I just got to the visitor centre. I just stopped for some lunch and the views are so nice and I just can't believe how nice it is like so warm and um, yeah I'm just really happy and um, so I'm on the uh, at the Noki Noki viewpoint um, it was only just like 40 minutes up a little hill um, and now I'm gonna go back down and follow a different walk it's the um, Ferry Lohan trail I think it's called um, but yeah, it's just so beautiful and um, I am taking it slow for anyone who doesn't know I had COVID a few months ago and now I have long COVID so I struggle quite a lot to uh, breathe and I get out of breath very easily since um, I got COVID um, but yeah, I'm taking it slow so this is why I'm doing like just very chill uh, walks uh, for now Okay, so I just want to show you a little bit behind the scenes of how I take photos when I'm on my own So I've got my tripod which is usually in my backpack um, And then I have my camera here which I've tilted And I've got a timer on so I'm going to just go and stand there and this will be like the view So I'm walking back now, I'm just going the same way back to Dinet and I'm going to get the bus from there. Uh, it's just so nice today. So 
so I just missed my bus. I was literally just crossing the road. I just saw it go past. Um, so the next one's coming in, in an hour. Uh, so I'm sitting here at the Loch Kinnard Hotel. Yes. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna grab a tea. I'm just sitting on the like, outdoor tables. Hello, so I'm going to the Balmoral Castle today. It's near Bremar and the Cane Gorns National Park. Um, it's about an hour and 45 minutes away uh, with a bus 201 towards Bremar. Um, and then I'm also going to go to the Cairns while I'm there and probably also go to Bremar. So I'll have to take you along with me. I'm now at the Balmoral Castle, you can see it here, and I'm at the uh, gardens and the conservatory and it's really nice, the day is just so beautiful, it's nice and sunny and warm and um, so the ticket was £15 per person and that includes like the grounds, the tea room that you can like, enter um, and just generally the rest of the place, so it's really nice. Aberdeen for a few days visiting so we're gonna go and take the bus uh, 35 to Macduff and from there we're gonna get a local bus to Gardenstown um, and then kind of explore there and also a uh, Crivy which is I think about 20 minute walk or 15 minutes walk from Gardenstown and it's supposed to be really pretty so uh, yeah I'm really excited <laughs> Okay, so now we're at Gardens Town and we're gonna walk across there to a place called Crivy. And so I think it only takes about uh, 15 minutes or something to walk, so it's just on the other side. Okay, so back in Gardens Town now, so it's a really cute little village with a harbour. Uh, so I think I've got another 20 minutes to wait until the bus comes um, to go back to Macduff and then I'll just explore uh, Banff as well. <laughs> much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video you can also find me on instagram uh, where i post about solo and budget travel and traveling by public transport and just life in scotland and other places as well for my travels uh, and yeah uh, thank you again and i will see you next time